Welcome back, everybody, to the Mortuary Assistant. So I've had a bunch of people ask for a video on how to complete the latest Ending 6, Raymond's story. So I'll cover this the fastest and most efficient way I can. So first off, normally I would get the two coins and necklace from the drawer down here, but for this ending they aren't needed. Oh yeah, don't forget the keys. I always forget that. So the first thing you need to do is go to these drawers and get the key, the trinkets if you want to, and the code for the night shift computer on the back of Raymond's ID. Enter the code into the computer and get ready to work on your three bodies because you will need to identify the correct body before you can trigger ending six. So as well as the key from the drawer, you also need the key for the safe. In the cellar hallucination event happens, you see all the creepy statues. Each of them have a number on their head that when placed in the right order, it reveals the safe code, which is 197044. Also, you do not have to wait for the cellar hallucination to occur. You can go to the safe anytime and use the code whenever you want. It's always the same code every time. You also need to go into the desk drawer and collect a fuse. You need to place it in the fuse box to be able to access the door in the cellar. Once you enter, there will be a lot of cool stuff you can access, but remember that time is still a factor. So grab the hammer from the desk and smash the casing on the left door. Since you already put the fuse in the fuse box, the electric lock mechanism will open. Once inside, there will be some audio tapes of Raymond explaining his role in the mortuary demon possessions, as well as an old VHS tape you can watch on the TV in the other room. Then you use the large old key you got from the drawer to unlock the right door and reveal Valerie, a possessed woman who's been providing the reagent used in the embalming upstairs. When you talk to Valerie, after a very creepy demonic monologue, he then asks you to free her. Then you have to go back in the other room and collect the bolt cutters in order to cut the lock. Once you come back with the bolt cutters, before you can free her, she tells you you need to burn a new mark that she gives you with the correct possessed body back in the morgue. Once they are destroyed, instead of the game ending, you arrive back in the morgue and can go back down into the cellar and free Valerie. But for those of you who haven't seen the final ending yet, here it is. Let's Enjoy. Get out of here. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> so stupid, Rebecca. Oh, fuck. Oh, Rebecca, it's not your fault. Always a slave to something. I'm going to take what's mine. It's time for you to burn. Oh, I have waited so long. What are you doing down here? Raymond! Oh no. <laughs> Rebecca? Another time. 
You're safe for now. I'm sorry she's gone. I, I thought I could help. What do we do now? I mean, what the hell is this? What are you not telling me? I know. There is a lot here. We'll figure it out. But right now, I need you to go what? home. Look, I deal with this shit too, Raymond. My life is in danger too. I deserve to know what the hell is going there on. There are some things. There are some things that are safer if you aren't aware. Bullshit. I don't trust you. You think I don't know you'd lock me up just like Valerie if you had the chance? No. I'm here because I have no choice. My life is in danger every single night with no end in sight, and you're still not telling me everything. I will find out what you're fucking hiding from me. Rebecca. Another already? Oh, baby, you're burning up. <laughs> backup after backup. You're such a prepared little boy. But it doesn't matter. Time is no object, and I revel in watching you claw for every, every last second. second. It won't last forever, Raymond. It'll last long enough. One day, there will be nothing left. And I will bask in your suffering as you are dragged to hell, kicking and screaming. Yeah, you've said that before. Don't you all get tired of saying the same things? You're pretty fucking predictable at this point. Predictable. After all, you're down here begging for more scraps. Awful lot of missteps lately, Raymond. Rebecca put you in an awfully tight spot. No more Valerie. No more blood. One less barrier between you and the inevitable, my love. She didn't know. It's not her fault. <laughs> so many women in your wake. Poor Raymond. All alone. See you around. She's still here. You'll always have mommy to help with the suffering. Yeah, you've said that before too. Believe me or not, I enjoy her torture. It's my only pleasure in this fucking place. It must be so... Heartbreaking, having to watch her son carve away piece after piece. No way out, always screaming and begging for mercy. <laughs> Every second you keep me here is another eternity of her suffering. Good. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wish. As always, thanks for watching.